Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So, today I am going to be talking about the new Lisa Eldridge 2022 holiday collection. I had the opportunity to visit her store after work yesterday when she launched it, I believe online and in store. I managed to pick up most of the collection the only thing that was missing was Vega which is on the way to me so I will be doing a separate video for that in honour of Lisa, I decided to buy a lovely bunch of roses which are behind me because they were absolutely stunning and I thought I wanted to brighten everyone's day with some roses just to make everybody feel great. I love flowers. Um, in terms of what I have on, I have Lisa's new sweater which is I think the Velvet Midnight sweater. I'm just going to show you it now. So this is what it looks like. It's such a gorgeous colour. I am so glad that I had a chance to pick it up at Lisa's store because it was sold out online and I didn't even know it was launched before. So I picked this up, I think a few weeks ago. I bet you're all excited about this collection as much as I am. I have put up a little bit of a reel on my Instagram, just a little taster of some of the things that I picked up. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you to Lisa and her team for kindly gifting me a couple of items from this collection. I am eternally grateful and it was to show my support for Lisa and I just wanted to reach out and say a massive thank you. So what we're going to do today is go through each palette and then look at the lipsticks that have been launched and the lip liners. So when it comes to the eye palettes, I have four of her new eye palettes. I also have five of her lipsticks and I have five of her lip liners. I decided to pick up the liners because I'm a huge fan of her liners as well as the True Velvet formula which she has for these five new lipstick shades. Also these shades speak to me because they are different variations of kind of reds and browns and they're my kind of colours and I think they're going to look really beautiful on sort of medium to dark skin tone as well as light. So I think what we're going to do is I will do some demonstrations. I will do some swatches today with you. I am so excited. I'm about to burst. If you could leave me some comments, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are at the end and let me know what you've picked up in the launch that happened on Friday. Lisa did her own video, which I'm such a geek. I took some notes <laughs> from Lisa's video because I am a super, super geek. I'm gonna show you how I would use the colors. Lisa has launched five new eyeshadows. Now what's amazing about this is she's never launched eyeshadows before. That's why we in the beauty community are so excited because this is Lisa's first foray into eyeshadows. When I watched the video I was so intrigued as to how Lisa came up with the concepts, the colours, why she came up with the eyeshadow palettes and the names behind them all because for me it really shows Lisa's personality and it shows that she's really thought about this launch and these eyeshadows shadows in particular which I am sure you're going to love. In terms of the lipsticks she's launched five new colours in her True Velvet collection and I love that formula. I think Velvet Ribbon is probably one of my favourite reds. Lisa's reds are outstanding and the formula is amazing. So I'm going to be showing you those and then the five lip liners they match the lipsticks. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to do an eye look with each of the shadows and then with each of those shadows I'm going to pair them up with the lipstick as well as seeing the eyeshadow palettes, I just wanted to complete the look with the lipstick and the liner. I am so excited about this. If you managed to purchase some items from Lisa's website yesterday during the launch, you would have noticed that if you made three purchases, then you would also get this velvet pompadour colour bag, which is one of her velvet bags. And honestly, get this if you can, because it is so lovely and it feels like the previous bags that she launched. I think she did it in like a deep red, a green, a blue, and she had that special limited edition one, which was that sort of multicolored one. Definitely pick this up if you can. Lisa's launched five eyeshadow palettes. I have four of those. I've been kindly gifted two of those from Lisa, and I'm gonna show you some looks today with these palettes. Lisa's gone into a lot of detail in her video, so I'm not gonna cover the ground that Lisa did, but what I will say is that these are six different types of textures and formulas and I will try to let you know which 
formula it is when I'm putting it on. I am very, very excited because I went into store yesterday and I did like a quick mini look with one of Lisa's makeup artists and he used some of the different textures and formulas on my eyes from the Myth palette. I was really, really impressed with how that turned out. So I'm very, very excited as you can imagine today how this is gonna turn out. Okay, so let's start off with the first palette. This eyeshadow palette is called Cinnabar. So Lisa described this as an ancient natural pigment from Earth. These colors are really warm. They come in six different shades. There's raw sienna, which is a seamless matte, bronzite, which is a metallic, fired earth, which is a seamless matte, lost summer, which is metallic, deep okra, which is velvet, and ritual, which is a top coat. I'm really, really excited to give this a go. The shelf life on this is 24 months. These are made in Italy. Now, if you're a massive fan of Pat McGrath, then you will know that a lot of her eyeshadows that are exceptional are made in Italy. So I'm really pleased that this is made in Italy. And it comes in the Lisa Eldridge packaging, which is gorgeous. I'm just gonna open it up. So this is the packaging. As you can see, Lisa has described this as slim, microplastic, talc free, it's customizable and it's refillable. So there's been a lot of thought into this. Okay, so I'm gonna be a total geek and just quickly tell you the differences between each texture. The seamless matte, Lisa described this as effortless and buildable. The velvet matte feels like a cream. The metallics are densely pigmented, so you can use your fingers to apply that. The lust is also sort of densely packed, but it has little pearls in it, it's smooth. The luminous texture has medium payoff. You can use your fingers or you can use a brush. And then the top coat is a transparent base. It's really good for like adding something extra for your inner corner. So I hope that's helped to describe all the different textures. Okay, so you've got this lovely, lovely Lisa Eldridge protector. And then these are the colors. And you can see that they are all really gorgeous and warm. And there's a mirror as well, which is fantastic. Just to show you, can you see how thin that is. And if you want to change the colours around, which Lisa has recommended, and customise your palette, you just put a pin in the back here and then it pops out like she described in her video. And then you've got this gorgeous Lisa Eldridge sign here. And it's just so Lisa and so personal and it's just gorgeous. And I can imagine that fitting really well in your handbag. Stunning. So the first one here is Fired Earth, and that colour is a seamless matte. Then we have Ritual, which is the top coat. We have Bronzite, which is a metallic. Then we have Deep Okra. We have Raw Sienna, which is a seamless matte, and Lost Summer, which is a metallic. So let's swatch these now. Let's, uh, let's start off with the colour Raw Sienna, which is here, which is a seamless matte. Then we're gonna move on to the color below, which is Lost Summer, and this is a metallic. Then we're gonna to move to the top color here, which is Bronzite, and that's also a metallic. Then we're moving to the shade below, which is Deep Okra, and this is a velvet. And then finally, we're moving on to the last two colours, and these are Fired Earth, and that is a seamless matte. And now we're going to look at Ritual, which is a top coat. All very wearable colours. I think this is probably one of the most wearable palettes out of the collection.
So I have just gone off camera and I've added some mascara, some eyeliner and some brow just so there's just a little bit more of some definition. I just wanted to just give you my verdict on this palette. I would call it an everyday palette. It's a palette that can be used on most skin tones. I think Lisa said in her video that this would suit people with sort of blue or green eyes, but I've got brown eyes and I really like this. I am drawn to these kind of colors anyway. So for me, this is a win in terms of the color story and how useful it would be for people who may be a little bit more afraid of the other colors. I would definitely go with Cinnabar or Muse, which I'm gonna show you later because these are more sort of everyday colors. The formulas were really interesting and exciting. I felt like the metallics really had a lot of pigment and gave great impact to my eyes. I really liked the top coat. It added that sort of light glitter effect and I could have stopped there, but I wanted to go on and show you the whole six colors. So you don't have to put all the colors on. You can put on one or two or just enough for daytime. So I would suggest like for daytime, I'd probably stick to raw sienna which is this color here which i put on as a matte color then underneath i would use deep okra the velvet formula and just use those two really and if you want a little bit more definition then i would use the color at the end which is fired earth if you want sort of a daytime look then if you want to jazz it up then i would use the metallics in the evening and then maybe use the top coat there's a lot that you can do no fallout there was no fallout it's really really lovely i actually have lisa eldridge's foundation on at the moment in the 22 and honestly there's nothing under my eyes the metallic hasn't fallen out the top coat hasn't fallen out it's beautiful this is just an idea you don't have to use the colors the way I did but I just wanted to have a little bit of fun so that's my verdict on the palette so far so we have picked up five lips five lip liners so we're going to try the first one and I'm going to use velvet pompadour and I'm going to use the lip pencil. The reason I went for this colour is obviously it inspired the bag that Lisa has been giving as gift with purchase but also it's an interesting colour and all of these colours she's launched I really have liked so that's why I picked up all of them and I'm going to show you the lip. So it comes in the normal Lisa Eldridge packaging, it says velvet pompadour. The lips always have a shelf life of 18 months and they're made in Italy as well and then I will also show you the liner. So here's a close-up of Velvet Pompadour. As you can see with Lisa's lipsticks they have this really intricate design on them where if you look very very closely you can see almost little squares that are on the lipstick. It's so finely done and the formula is so so stunning. So this is the colour Velvet Pompadour. I thought I'd do that because of my top. You might not be able to see it as well but I hope that helps. And I'm just gonna show you Lisa's liner. So this is the matching color. And what Lisa does is she tends to have the color and then it's slightly darker than the lip. So it's gonna give you that lovely shape. So I have the Velvet Pompadour Lip Pencil. So before I put it on, I'll just do you a quick hand swatch. So this is Velvet Pompadour. And I'm just going to show you the hand swatch of the lip pencil. So these are the eyes and we're now going to just put on the lip. So this is the first look with the first palette, which is Cinnabar, and I have paired it with the lipstick and the liner Pompadour, and this is how it looks. And then I've also added a blush using the lip with a little bit of Lisa's highlighter and put it on my cheeks. I could even add a little bit more, so I'll just do that now.
Okay, so now we move on to the next eyeshadow palette and this one is the color Myth. And Myth is the one that I tried on when I was in store, which you probably would have seen pictures of. When I really want my eyes to pop, I tend to use purple because I feel like it's a really lovely contrast for brown eyes. This has lots of purples in here. So Lisa described this as during the 1850s, there was a purple dye that basically became really popular. And what she's done is taken these sort of key colors and put them into this palette. Lots of different purples, different variations. And of course, with this palette, there's different textures. So this is what the palette looks like. And these are the shades. On the camera, these actually look like they're almost black, but they're not. This one is like that sort of deep purple color. This one is definitely leaning more towards like a deep dark purple but on camera it looks kind of black these are just such a gorgeous group of shades with all these different textures so really really excited to try this you can tell when it's a metallic when it looks kind of shiny with little sparkles in so if we start off with this one this is called Nocturama so if you think of Nocturne you think of the night this kind of reminds you of that because it's quite dark and that is a velvet then you have Faded Amethyst which is the metallic colour then you have Illusionism which is the top coat and then underneath you've got Victorian Trim which is velvet then you've got Mauve Decade, which is a velvet, and then underneath you have Velvet Stone, which is a velvet. So, so first things first, let's do some swatching. So we're gonna start off with these colors first, and then we're gonna move across. So we're gonna start with Nocturama Velvet. So we're gonna go underneath, and then this is Faded Amethyst, which is a metallic. Then we're gonna go into the center colors. We're gonna start off with the first one, which is a top one, and that's a top coat. And this one is called Illusionism. And then we're gonna to go to the bottom of that, and that is Victorian Trim, which is a velvet. Then finally, we have the two colors at the end. We have the top one, which is Mauve Decade, which is a velvet. And then we look at the final color at the bottom here, which is called Violet Stone, and this is a velvet. Gorgeous. And I've just added some mascara and I've added some liner and this is the second eyeshadow look with the eye palette myth and I absolutely love it it's very much what I like when it comes to kind of like purple shades and to match this I'm going to use the lipstick rain with the liner rain so let's take a look at that now Okay, so this is the lipstick in the colour Rain and this is the one that I tried in store with this eye look and it is gorgeous. Probably my favourite out of the five. So let's do a hand swatch of Rain. 
Definitely more on the cooler side, a bit more muted than the other colour that I tried on earlier. So this is the lip pencil in the colour Rain. So I'm just going to swatch it alongside the lipstick for you. So let's put on the lip liner and the lipstick now. So this is the lip liner Rain. And this is the lipstick Rain. So I am going to now do exactly what I did before, which is mix the lipstick with the highlight and just do a blush for you so you have a completed look. So this is look number two with the Myth as an eyeshadow and the lip pencil and the lipstick in Rain. So the third palette is called Sorcery. This was kindly gifted by Lisa and I am really, really excited about this one. When Lisa thought about making this palette, she thought about the legend of sort of medieval period and times. She mentions in her videos magic and fairs. I absolutely am excited about these colours because they're quite sparkly. It reminds me of her liquid eyeshadows. I think these are really, really special and you can really mix and match with the other palettes. So you don't necessarily have to wear these all together. These are all kind of dual tones and really has sort of the drama, which Lisa says, of the peacock tail. It does remind me a little bit of the new Guerlain eyeshadows, which I haven't managed to purchase yet. There is a colour story in there that has that kind of peacock feel. I am really excited to pick that one up at some point so I can compare it with Lisa's. There are four metallics in this palette, a seamless matte and a luminous duo. I've not seen the luminous duo yet, so this is going to be the first look of that. So these are the colours and look at that. I mean you can see the four metallics there and this is that luminous duo which I'm really really excited about. Not seen that yet, want to see how that looks. These colours are so unique, they're not a colour story that I've seen very often. These are just stunning. So you have Troubadour which is a seamless matte, you have Mercurial which is this luminous duo, you have Grotto which is metallic, you have Mage which is metallic and then you have Madrigal, which is metallic, and then Swan Song, which is metallic. It helps that the four metallics are together. They are just gorgeous. You can play with these colours and there's just so much to see. Yeah, here so. we go. So let's do the arm swatches. So we're going to start off with this colour here, which is called Troubadour, which is a seamless matte. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That's kind of like a dark green, but when you look on camera, it looks darker. But that is stunning, that colour. Then we're going to move to this luminous duo. I'm very excited about this. Mercurial. Ooh. Wow. Wow, that's all I'm going to say. That is gorgeous. It reminds me of the Pat McGrath. Oh my God, look at it. It's got bits of white and then it turns into like this purple and then it just shifts. It's stunning. Then we're going to move on to this top shade, which is called Grotto. Oh, that's another beautiful colour. Madge. So then we're going to move on to this colour here, which is called Mage. Oh, another pretty colour. If those two were to combine, you'd create this one a little bit. It's very nice. And then the final two colours at the end, you have Madrigal. So this is Madrigal. And then finally you've got Swan Song, which is just here. Oh my god. I think out of all the palettes so far, this is the one that has the most pigmentation. I like the other ones. This one is definitely more of a going out palette to create some fire when it comes to your eyes. Stunning.
So this is the third look. So this is in the eyeshadow Sorcery and I absolutely love this. It's out there, but it's bold, it's beautiful. It is so sort of statement piece. So if you love your Pat McGrath colors, I think you're gonna love Sorcery. So we have the color Sorcery, which was kindly gifted by Lisa, this one. And I have the Sorcery lip liner. So this is the color Sorcery. This is definitely more of a muted color compared to the other releases that she's done as part of this new holiday collection. It is the colour that has sold out already on the website from what I'm aware. I guess it's more of a wearable colour. The way that Lisa used it in her video, she used it as a lip stain and then she went in again. It's quite an easy colour to wear but I wanted to match the sorcery eyeshadow with the sorcery lip so you could see how it looks. So this is the lip. So let's do a hand swatch. So this is Sorcery. And this is the matching lip pencil. So again, I'm just gonna swatch it for you alongside the lip. This is a really nice lip liner colour. If you're looking for like a natural lip liner, Sorcery is very, very nice as a lip liner. So I can see this is quite strong. So we're gonna do the lip, but I'm just gonna dab it on lightly first. So this is just dabbed on and I can increase it. I can see why this colour sold out. It's a really wearable colour. It's a lovely kind of muted tone as well. I like this colour. This is sorcery. So I'm gonna go and work my magic, literally, and I'm just gonna mix this in with the highlighter again, and I'm gonna use that as a blush. So this is sorcery, and this is the third palette that I'm trying on and oh, I love this colour. It's a really gorgeous colour, the lipstick. The eyes are stunning as well. I think this palette has surprised me the most. I wasn't sure what to expect but I really love this palette, maybe because I love Pat McGrath as well. I love these tones that you can't quite put your finger on why it's so nice. I do really love this as well. So this is Sorcery as the eyeshadow palette, Sorcery as the lip as well with the lip liner and I'm using that colour mixed in with the highlighter to make a blush. Back, fresh face, final palette until I get the Vega palette. This is the palette Muse and Muse is definitely out of all of them probably the most wearable palette because of the colour scheme. Lisa said that this was an inspiration from the Bella Pock as well as her love of the lipstick Muse. A lot of these are vintage rosy hues. So these are all the shades. So we start off with Tea Room, and this is Tea Room, and that's in the Velvet formula. We've got Love in Venice, which is in the Luminous formula. Then you have Tomorrow's Party, which is in the Metallic formula. Cherubim, which is in the Velvet. You have the Vintage Mulberry, which is in the Velvet. And then you have the Taffeta Fan, which is in the Lust formula at the end. So let's quickly do some swatches. So let's start off with Tea Room, which is this one here. So now we're going to go to the one underneath and it's called Love in Venice and this is in the Luminous formula. Then we're going to go to the top here which is Tomorrow's Party. Tomorrow's Party is in the Metallic formula. Then we move on to the one below and the one below is Cherubim and that's in Velvet. So the final two at the end, this is Vintage Mulberry in Velvet. And then the final shade at the bottom, which is in Taffeta Fan, and it's in the Lust formula. 
beautiful. So this is the final look from the final palette that I have picked up so far. As I mentioned, Vega is on the way. So this is Muse, and Muse is definitely on the more rosier side of the scale. I've tried to use all the colours to show you this is what the finished look looks like with the eyeshadow. This is the new lip from Lisa and it's called Velvet Enchantment and this is what it looks like. So this is the hand swatch for Velvet Enchantment. So this is the lip liner for Velvet Enchantment. So I'm just going to do a swatch next to Velvet Enchantment of the lip liner. So this is the blush that I've made up with the highlighter again using the lip Velvet Enchantment. This is the finished eye look. So this is the palette Muse with the lip in Velvet Enchantment and the lip liner in Velvet Enchantment. This is the final look of the four eyeshadows. So I hope you like this. So we are now going to move on to the final lipstick and lip liner. The lipstick was kindly gifted by Lisa. This is in the colour Velvet Duchess. So I will put this on alongside the liner. I'll show you the swatches first and then we'll see how it looks. So this is the most reddish colour. This is a blue red as Lisa has described. It's definitely not as red in tone to say True Ribbon. But I'll do some comparison arm swatches. For the moment, I'll show you how this looks on. So I'm just going to do a hand swatch for you. Beautiful. And this is Duchess and I think this is definitely going to be my favourite. I knew I would love this colour. I love a good red. So that is the final lip colour and I am so, so happy with this collection. I can't wait to try Vega and I think that will be the whole thing complete. I will definitely put some comparison swatches in the Vega video purely because I want to get this one out for you as soon as possible. Maybe comparisons to some other lipsticks that Lisa has that are similar to this. 
This one is a beautiful colour. I love Lisa's reds. I think she just hits the nail on the head when it comes to reds. And this is gorgeous. This is Duchess lip liner, Duchess lip. And then I've got my Muse, which is that kind of rosy palette, which kind of looks quite nice with a strong lip because it's not very overpowering. So it doesn't overtake the lip, which is what you want when you're wearing a strong lip. It's really, really lovely. So my thoughts on this collection, I think that Lisa has really taken her time when it comes to the eyeshadows. She has obviously thought long and hard about the names, the textures, everything. And I think that's why we all love Lisa's makeup because she is always constantly thinking about using her makeup knowledge that she has of being a makeup artist, but to kind of take her makeup to another level. So I remember hearing in her video that she decided to make these eyeshadows because she wanted something similar to her kit, which is what she uses when she does makeup for celebrities. And I found that such a great thing to share for her fans that love her makeup, that she would do that for us. And she has given us these refillables and customizable palettes so we can really play around and really have fun with her makeup, which is amazing. I love all the different colors within the eyeshadow ranges. There is something for everyone there. If you want something subtle, something everyday, then I would select Muse, which is what I have, or Cinnabar, which was the first one I did. If you want something with a bit more power, a bit more oomph, I would go with Sorcery, because Sorcery has these gorgeous metallic shades that I think you can have fun with. Even if you didn't want to commit to the whole Sorcery palette, you can get some of the refillables and then take some of those and change it around and, you know, have something in there that can kind of amp your look. I loved Myth. Myth was the one that is my go-to for brown eyes. If you have brown eyes or hazel eyes, like Lisa said, I think that myth will be a beautiful palette and will emphasize that. So she said cinnabar would be good for blue or green eyes if you wanted a contrast. But she also said that there is no prescriptive eyeshadow for an eye in the sense she wants you to explore. So there is no prescriptive shade range. You can pretty much use all the eyeshadow shades. I mean, you've seen how they look on my eyes. I'd love to know what your favorite is out of these eyeshadow palettes that Lisa has released. I like them all and I love them all, but then I am a makeup fanatic. It would be good to hear your thoughts on which one you thought looked the best on me, as well as the lip colors. I will get this video out to you ASAP because I know you really want to see how this looks on another person. I know that a lot of people have placed their orders already. You may come back to this video and want to order more, but I just hope this video helps you with your choices. In terms of Lisa's little tip about mixing the, the lipstick with her highlighters, I love that because I know Lisa's going to be bringing out reformulated versions of the blushes she brought out before, but if you want a kind of monochrome look, then I would definitely use her tip so that at least your blush matches your lip, if that makes sense. I absolutely love this collection. I cannot wait to get my hands on the last eyeshadow palette, which is Vega, which is on the way. I will get that filmed. I will get that out to you ASAP. But so far, I am loving this collection. I hope you enjoyed this. I am exhausted. I've been filming all day, but I really hope that it's worth it. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already and please subscribe to my channel I'd love for you to join my channel other than that I will see you on my next Lisa Eldridge video as soon as I get the Vega palette and I look forward to hearing all your lovely comments and I hope to hear what things you've purchased from this collection so have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video thank you